Hello everyone, Philippe Moisan here. In this video I want to show you how to write an article at AppSense. The article I will write is actually a blog post that I will take from my blog. It has images in it, it has a video, it has uh, some f change of fonts and colors, and you'll see I'll, I just have to copy and paste from my blog to the article itself. Well first, I am on my AppSense homepage. As you can see here, you can click on Write Article. This will create a new one. Then you have to enter the title. So let's go to my blog. This is the blog post I want to choose. How to change the header picture of you on your lead capture page at Traffic Leads to Income. So I'm going to copy this. Highlight it. I choose Copy. I go back to AppSense. There you go, the title is already written. Uh, so, well, for this sake, I will choose Marketing. Uh, for the category, you have to choose a category. Then I click on Create. There you go, the title is there, the category is there. So all you, now, all I have to do is I go back here. And then I scroll down I while copying everything, including those images. The only thing that the copy process won't copy is the video, but I will get back to that in a minute. I even have a signature part, so okay, I do control uh, co copy. I mean, okay, go back to the the description part, and uh, so okay, so it it would need some editing, but uh, that for the video I will leave it at that for now. Okay, so as you can see, the colors have been respected. Everything is is there from the blog post. Uh, after that, well, you could choose an image if you want. I won't in this case here. Uh, the image would appear at the bottom of the article, so I can add tags. So I will just you have to put at least one tag. So I will put traffic leads to income here. Press enter, and then I click on OK. And uh, now you see the article is there. The only thing is, we don't have the video from it. Uh, the video can be acquired, though. Uh, here's a very simple way to do it. It's a video from YouTube that I put the embed code in my blog. So what I will do, I use uh, an add-on in Firefox for to stop autoplay. So I will click here, and then I click on Share here at the top right. Okay, and then I click on Embed, and then it's important to to tick here, use old embed code. That's the, the kind of code that AppSense needs for videos. So you, you tick that, and then you go in this place here. You click, you do Control C. You go back to the ar article, and then you have to edit the article. You can edit it. You can edit an article when it's one of your own, of course. So I edit the article, and then you go back. You scroll down. You scroll down, and uh, well, I know don't remember exactly. Okay, here's the video, it says. So I'm gonna copy it here. <laughs> it looks ugly, I'm, I know. No problem, you'll see. I click OK. And uh, the, the what you need to do next is you click on Edit again and AppSense converts the code to the video itself. So that's how it works. So you can see the video would, would appear. So I click on OK again. And there you go. Uh, if, I, if I look now, I, I click on the title or to see the article as any other absence member would see it. As you can see, the article is there. It says here, you can click here to see that other post. Well, the link from my blog post is there. Uh, you can see the red color here. Uh, it would need some minor editing to look exactly like the blog post. The images were clickable in the blog post. So if I click on this image, you can see, well, it, it should have gotten bigger, but uh, it didn't. Uh, okay, so let's, uh, for a second here, Sorry, just to go back to the, the page. Okay. And as you can see, the, uh, the article is there completely, so I can start the video. It would run. I will stop it. I don't want, I don't want to, to start it now. Okay. <laughs> so you can see, you can hear it. And like, like I said, a, mi a, a little minor editing, and the article would look <coughs> okay for presentation at absence. Or you can do that uh, in other social networks, I believe. So I hope this video was useful and I'll talk to you soon.